Let's take a look at what's new in version 2.6 of H2R Graphics. Uh, this time we have a few fun things to go through. First of all, I want to talk about the first thing, which is this new Pro Graphic called a Moving Gradient. So we can take a look at that right now. I have one running here on, uh, on my output. You can see here as I show it, uh, you can just see it's quite subtle, but this dark shade and there's a light shade up here and they're moving between each other, slowly moving. And if I go into edit mode here, you'll see that there are a couple of options. One is the type of animation. Currently there's only two, but probably add more in the future. So uh, this is the floating bulbs one. Now, I have set it to black and white basically, so you can really see what it looks like. But um, as you use a little bit more subtle colors, you'll see that um, it's not quite so, you know, it's a bit more subtle is my point. Um, something like this, you'll just see a little bit of movement in the background there. And uh, you can use brand colors that your client wants you to use and that'll work just fine. And then the moving gradient, which is the one I showed a minute ago. Um, if I do like a light color and a dark color, you can see here just as it sort of revolves back and forth between those two colors from the um, top left to the bottom right. And uh, it looks really nice, kind of just does its thing whenever you show it in the background. I can imagine you using this on uh, another output in the background of a super source or something along those lines. Everything else from this point on is in the free version. So it's just that moving graphic that was in the pro version. Everything else from this point is available in the free version. Here we go. Next up, long awaited feature is the uh, triggers feature. So triggers is something that will grow more in the future, but the one that exists right now, I know a lot of people will be happy about, and it's this duration trigger. So you can add this for any graphic you want, and you just set a seconds amount. So for example, I can set five seconds here, and whenever I show this lower third, you can see it pulses over here, five seconds are counting down, and then it disappears after five seconds. And I can have set this to whatever number I want in seconds, and it'll show one, two, three, and then it disappears after that. So the auto hide feature of lower thirds from the old version one, a feature that people really, really wanted to see is now available here. And like I said, you can add this for any graphic. So for example, this message here, maybe I wanna show that for four seconds. I'll show the message. And then after a little bit of pulsing and waiting, four seconds goes by and it disappears. So that is the first of hopefully many triggers in the application. I'll just remove this trigger here to show you the next new feature, which is a new way of scaling items. So now whenever an item is positioned and you scale it, it will scale based on that position. So if it's in the middle here, it scales from the center point. If it's in the bottom left here, it will scale based on that bottom left point and so on and so forth. And that applies to all the graphics as well. Something a lot of people have wanted for a long time is to be able to rename and remove themes. So now at the bottom of the theme section here, I have this new options. And in here, you can change the name of the theme and you can also delete themes as well. Now, um, I like to keep the project default in place. So I'll just create another theme called uh, delete me. I'll add that theme. You can see delete me there. And if I go to the bottom, I could rename it if I wanted to, or I can just delete that theme, it disappears and that theme is gone. Next up, a really neat feature that I'm quite excited about is this new button mode. So back on the um, launcher here, I have a new buttons tab. And if I open that, it opens this new window called buttons. And this is what it looks like. I imagine it as sort of an operator mode where the operator can press the button and then it shows and hides those graphics. So here you can see it's pulsing because that one's gonna disappear after the allotted time. Um, and you can just click on those in this interface here. But just like other windows, you can visit this in your browser on this local computer or on the network. And I have designed this window to work well with phones, with iPads, touch devices, and things like that. So it's really a, a place to show that on maybe a tablet screen and then tap the screen and you can show and hide your graphics. Next up, you can now set some of the text variables within the app. So if I go into the variables section here, I can now set these text variables to be whatever I want them to be in the app. And um, you can use those right away. Really the idea behind these is to use it in a different 
piece of software, something like Companion, but I just wanted to make it so that you can edit these if you want to within the app. You'll find loads of other changes in this. You can read the release notes to see those. Lots of CSS tweaks, fixes, all sorts of stuff. So give it a try and let me know how it goes.